thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today, and this is week 10 of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Okay, so I've got all the supplies here. You're going to be able to find all the measurements on your free PDF over on my website. If you're watching this video on YouTube, um, the link will be in the description, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is stamp this witch's hat, and I will tell you this hat is on back order. Um, you can still fussy cut this image. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm not gonna use the punch since it's on back order. I'm just gonna fussy cut it. If you don't have that set and you're not gonna order it, you can also use this image. It works just as well. Some of, Most of our projects were pre-designed months ago before the uh, product sold out or went on back order. So instead of changing it up, I'm just gonna you know show you your other options. I'm going to be using Memento ink. And I've said this a few times, I prefer uh, fussy cutting on a smaller piece of cardstock. Uh-oh, I think I might have messed up. Nope, I didn't. Um, and then we need to stamp the greeting. And here's that. I'm just going to stamp that over here on the bottom. Now we're going to use, let me remove that, uh, pumpkin pie stamping blend markers. I'm going to start with the dark marker. That's this one here. Now we want to stamp just the witch's hat part again so that we can cut out um, the brim or whatever that section is, the part that we're cutting out. Okay, so there's that. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut that out to use as my, um, my guide or my template to use with the washi tape. Okay, I need to clean it up because I'm completely covering this with the um, washi tape, okay? So now let's fussy cut this one. <laughs> Okay, so we're done with the cutting. Now let's take our washi tape. Let me get the silicone craft sheet. And what we're gonna do is place this on top and you're gonna notice that this doesn't fit perfectly. So you can either go this way or you can go across. Okay, that looks good right there. And then go across again. You really can't see that it's two pieces if you just butt them up next to each other, okay? And then to cut it, we're just gonna turn it over and trim the extra off. Okay, come back here. So I know this is more, more work um, if you don't have the punch, but Paper crafting is fun, right? I find coloring um, more therapeutic than cutting. And maybe I just accidentally cut too much of that. Oh well. <laughs> now, 
I did cut too much, but that's okay because we're actually not gonna use this image. Let me clean it up so that it doesn't look completely terrible. That's what I get for talking when fussy cutting. I always say I can't tie a bow or fussy cut when I'm talking. Okay, so not too shabby. So I'm just gonna take some liquid glue and add it to the hat. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside and now we're going to make the box. Okay, on the 10 inch side, we're gonna score at half an inch, three and three quarters, five and a quarter, and eight and a half. On the five and three quarter side, we're gonna score at one and a half, four and a quarter, and five and a quarter. We're gonna fold on the score lines and then burnish with our bone folder. There will be a box template for this project. It'll be included on the free printable. And then it will also have its own, own PDF. Uh, the description um, will have the description under my video <laughs> will have those links, okay? Now let's do some cutting. I've got my template here uh, to kind of guide me. So this half inch section is up here at the top and this half inch section is over here on the left. So I'm gonna cut up to the score line on each of these. This is one of those boxes that's really simple to make and you can whip out a bunch of them. I'm gonna trim these tabs. And that's a question I have for y'all. When you're leaving a comment for me, let me know. On my PDFs, do you want me to tell you to trim the tabs or do you know that you always need to trim the tabs? Okay. Now over here, we're gonna remove this section. So we're going down to that second score line. Hopefully you can see that. I think on my last uh, set of instructions or template, I think I put um, angle cut. Yeah. Okay, same thing. I'm going to, wait, first we have to whack off this part. That's that half inch score line. And then trim the sides or angle cut, whatever you prefer. I know some people call it miter, but you know, I Googled miter <laughs> and that looks different than a miter to me. Okay, so now let's add our adhesive right here. I'm gonna take my tear and tape. You can use whatever adhesive you prefer. I'm gonna use the take your pick tool to remove the backing and then just fold this over. Now I almost messed up. We're gonna round the corners on this top section. It's not too late because we can just fold all of this down. Whoops, what row? My um, daughter and my husband are fixing to show up at the house. And so I'm a little bit like, oh, I gotta get this video done before they show up. Okay, there's that. Now. We want to assemble the bottom. So this is the back, because you can kind of see the seam. This is the front bottom. So we're gonna add our tear and tape there. And again, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to remove the backing. Okay, fold this over, fold it like that. And then this, and then this. Okay, so on mine, if you'll notice, when I take the clip off, there is a magnet. So originally we were just gonna use a magnet to close this, but adding the clip on the top, this is just one of those binder clips you can get at any store, even Walmart carries them, um, and Amazon. I buy these in bulk actually on Amazon, so if you need that link, let me know. But I just thought that adding the clip with the ribbon um, jazzes it up even more. So I'm not gonna add the, the magnet because it doesn't need it, 
but you can if you want to. Here we go. So that's going to go there. We're going to take two pieces of the black and white gingham ribbon and tie a bow. I love this ribbon. I hope it carries over next year. I wish we would keep it forever, right? And I'm just gonna trim the ends. And then we're just gonna add it with a mini glue dot. So I've got that here. Well, where is it? I felt it. Oh, that's right, these are the backwards ones. Now we're gonna add the designer series paper. And let's see. I'm gonna turn all these pieces over. The measurements, like I said, will be on your uh, free PDF. You know, while I'm gluing all of these layers, um, I wanted to ask you guys um, what um, is there anything that I can do better? I am nearing my um, 100,000 subscribers, very close. Thank you all so much. Um, and I just wanted to ask, you know, what can I do to keep you happy or to keep serving you, you know, to keep you watching? <laughs> I don't have the gift of gab, um, but I am very passionate about my crafts. I love them, they make me happy. I can't wait for Olivia to be able to craft and sew and color. Coloring is so therapeutic, isn't it? Well, I know not everybody agrees, but for me, it's, it's very therapeutic. And now one more section right up here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to take that clip off so that I don't get glue on it. Okay, that goes there. Now, so what I'm going to do, and I actually... Well, let's do the back as well, because I asked that question a few weeks ago when a lot of you guys said that you actually decorate the back, or you just at least cover the back, and I'm like, oh, I don't. I save all of my supplies, um, but I'm like, well, I have plenty of this, this beautiful paper, so I'll decorate the back too. So then I'm going to take this scallop circle and add it with liquid glue. And we're going to make a little change. So this one has the witch's hat. And I've showed you guys how to make it or cut it, you know, just using your scissors since the punch is on back order. I'm not even sure it's actually going to come back in stock. I have no clue. I did check before I filmed this video and there was no date on it. So can't tell you. Uh, went ahead and add that. So instead of using this one that I just made, I'm going to add her. And that way, uh -oh, get back on there. That way you guys can see two different versions. I'm gonna add a new dimensional because I ripped her off of an old project. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know, when I found out that that was still on back order with no date, that's what I had to do. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna cut out the, the greeting with a small trimmer. You can use your scissors, you can use whatever you prefer. I'm just using this small trimmer. And if you need a link to one on Amazon, since we don't sell these any, anymore, let me know. And now the greeting's gonna just go right up there. So the same thing, I'm gonna remove that bow so that I can add this. And you could add this with a dimensional if you want, but I really don't want to. And you could also add the greeting like over here. But 
I'm okay with the greeting getting covered up with the ribbon a little bit. Plus we can kind of twist and turn the ribbon and make it go in another direction. Okay, I'm gonna slow down a second and give that a second to dry and then add. And the last step is we wanna add some embellishments. These are the classic matte dots. And um, we're gonna add three of them, just like on the other version. Let's see, we'll do one up here, since it's a different, it's a different, um, the spacing is different. That's what I'm trying to say. That's why we changed where we, where we added them. Okay, I almost forgot to show you what's inside here. So let me open this up. And this is what fits in there. And this is what they are. So creepy caramel. Okay, so what do you think? I love them both equally. Now after making it, maybe I like this one better. But anyway, you guys will have to let me know. Um, okay, so that wraps up this project. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Have a great day. Thanks so much.